Okay. Alright, hello guys, my name's Kit. Now, today I'm going to give you a tour of Haggett Hall. Uh, most importantly, the dorm room. So right now, here is my dorm room. Alright, uh, uh, focus, please, please focus. Alright, so here on the right side, you can see is my roommate's part of the room. And here on the left side is my part of the room. So this bed right here, and all that stuff over there, that's all mine. Uh, so if you decide to go to Haggard Hall, the person who gets this bed will usually get this part because, well, they're closest to one another. Alright, and on the top here, we have two lamps. This one I brought from home, this one is provided by UW, and these are my medication and stuff. Every day, UW will provide you with two blankets, uh, two big blankets and one small blanket. So those blankets could be used uh, any any way you wish. You could wash yourself with them, uh, use them as a mat, like I did here. Oh, and there's my roommate right now. Hello. What's up? Hey, uh, I was just filming. A... Oh, okay. So my roommate just went out. Um, so here. I'll show you guys my bed. So here's the bed. Every day they will um, actually do the bed for you. So they'll do it in this kind of style. Uh, I brought my own pillow here. But what they will usually do is have the sheets on top of the, the main pillow. And then, yeah, this is how they'll, they'll lay it out usually every single day. And here's my roommate's uh, bed. On the bottom here, you will see draw, uh, drawers that you can pull out. You could put anything you want in them. Actually, you, you, could, you could put anything you want in any drawer here. So there's two here. As you can see, there's one, two, and your roommate gets two as well. And here is a split drawer, uh, drawer, drawer case. So we have... Uh, Two medium ones and one large one here. Very, very spacious. As you can see. Very spacious. And under here is where they will put the recycling bin and the, what's it called? Garbage can. Alright, now under here, there's actually, what you can see is an ethernet cable. So, Ethernet is very important in the storm because there is no Wi-Fi whatsoever. Now, the reason for this is because these dorms are very old. They were they were made with concrete, and Wi-Fi signals don't really go up that well through through uh, concrete. So that's why you need Ethernet cables in order to actually use internet. All right, so. There it is. Now, they will also provide you with a black box like this. This is a 9 port, 8 port switch. What that means is whatever you plug into here, uh, whatever Ethernet cables you plug into here, will get internet. This is very useful. And I'm glad they provided us instead of uh, us having to buy one ourselves. And uh, when we found this, we actually found like three Ethernet cables. So, cool. Thanks, UW. And let's see what else. Uh, oh, yeah, curtains. Curtains pulled with the stick. There's a lever here. You pull down if you want to close. And then you pull up if you want to uh, open. There is also another hidden um, hidden window here. So if you open this out, it's actually another uh, another place where air can come in. Yeah, and there's like tiny there's gaps here where bugs can actually come in as well. So um, if if you could just just close this one. Because this one's the one where bugs will come in the most because it's right near trees. 
All right. Um, what else? Oh yeah, under here. Let's see. So under this thing, let's pull this out. Is another hidden storage area. Uh, you could put anything you want in here. Uh, looks like my roommate put like laundry stuff in here, which is pretty good. So you don't have to smell it. All right. Now, if we go into the closet, it splits into two uh, two sides as well. So here is this side, the left side. There's shoe boxes for your roommate, shoe boxes for me, and here we have two. I don't know what these are called, but these are my roommates. This, these are mine. We we split it pretty equally. Here are my roommates. Here are mine. At the left side here, he has the right side here. And as you can see, I'm kind of a mess. I don't really put my clothes into the drawers. I just lay them out like this. Because I won't be here long, so I don't need to. Alright, and what else? Oh, yeah. They provide us with, what's this, laundry... A laundry bag now this is pretty cool because if you don't have a laundry bag you could bring this one and yeah I don't know what else to say uh, they give you a laundry bag that you could do your laundry with there you go now here is what I call the neutral area and actually this is where me and my roommate decided your roommate I don't know you'll have to talk with them about it so here they we have two um, a uh, storage place here. What is this? Oh, it's a box. Okay. If you want, you could like put food here. That's what we we put here. We just put food for us to share amongst ourselves. And that's pretty much it. Here's the view from my dorm area. Let me see if this is if I could do this. It's actually a uh, one of the better views, better than. I think most of the other uh, male rooms. All right, and I'll show you my room right now. All right, so our room number is five seventy four. So here it is. It's at the very end, and here's the halls. Yep, and here's our. Uh, corner window it's is okay I don't really like our corner window uh, because there's just trees the girls have they have a corner window where they could see like like the memorial stadium see the whole entire field It's beautiful we don't get that and here is a place where you could study with your friends if you wanted to yeah, it's like a shared area among uh, all doom dorm rooms. And here it is. Alright, I think I saw my roommate did uh, do laundry here once. So yeah, you could do that if you want. Custodian. Alright, and there outside you can hear my uh, dorm mates. Uh, playing ca cards against humanity outside. Here is the window. I mean, here's the restroom. So here in this restroom, there's two stalls. Two stalls that you can use. Yeah, nothing much. There's a urinal right there. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Pretty okay dorm restroom if I must might say so myself uh, oh okay so here's the showering area we don't have our own like individual bathroom in our dorm room so we have a shared area where we do all of our stuff our restroom stuff uh, so if you decide to go to Haggett Hall or you're forced to go here the left and the right showers shower stalls are the best um, best places to shower because you get this this bench and that bench if you're in the middle uh, I don't know what to say you're just really unlucky yeah because all the water will flow down here 
and I will deposit into this, uh, what's this called? This thing right here. So you'll get all the dirty water mixed into the middle one right here and you won't really have any place to put your clothes or showering uh, utensils. So yeah, don't use the middle one. Get the left one and the right one if you can. And if they're not available, just wait. That's what I recommend. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, ooh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I guess I could show you the lounge area. Hey guys, I'm, okay, so I say, hey guys, I'm doing a lounge, a tour of the dorm. Hey guys, oh, I, I'm doing a tour of the, the dorms, so don't bother me. I'm just gonna commentate. Okay, yeah. Okay, so here's the lounge area. This is where people usually hang out and do whatever. This is a place, there's my roommate. This is a great place to um, socialize. And here we have two tables. Uh, anyone can use them, I don't know. Not sure what else to say. So yeah. So yeah, that was the lounge area. Um, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this tour. There isn't really much, many other video tours out there on YouTube, so if you find this useful, um, I'm glad it's useful. All right, peace out.